This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. I was thinking about love and how it is said that love conquers all. And that gets to chivalry and why a true maker of anything is a knight. And I would say, stick to love. Serve it faithfully. It will not mislead you. But also know that life is crooked sometimes. And love does not always win. That's okay too. It is also a great comfort in a loss. The field mouse is extending his and I emphasize the word his curfew of 10 p.m. till the end of January. The field mouse is riding the virus and will continue to do it until, well, that's precisely the question. The new variant of the virus has turned up in cases in Colorado and California. Not sure what that means for the vaccination program. 20 million Americans were supposed to have been vaccinated by the end of the year. The real number of people vaccinated is about 3 million. The Pander Man is offering prayers for those who have died from the virus. The trumpet returned early before the new year from his Florida Mar-a-Lago resort, and now everyone, especially the dummy craps, is wondering, what is he up to now? What mischief can he work? I can't wait till he becomes the shadow. Then he can lurk about and freak the wits right out of them. But the trumpet also took some hits. Congress overrode his veto of a defense bill, and a judge tossed out a suit against the election. These appear to be markers. The swamp is bidding him farewell, showing him out the door. He did his best and was quite remarkable in what he accomplished. Simply getting elected was huge, huge and unexpected and shocking. But in the end, the swamp wins. The pander man will take over and the foolishness will commence with a vengeance, clearing out all traces of the despised Trump regime. The homes of the turtle and fancy bulldozy, two estimable swamp denizens, were vandalized. They were hit with paint graffiti, stuff like, where is my money, and I want $2,000, and lots of dollar signs. But it happened in different locations at the same time, because it happened in different locations at the same time, there must be some organization behind it. They are pissed off because they have not received their government handout. And oh yeah, they want $2,000 a piece, not $600. 600 is an insult! So, get this. They are protesting because they are not getting enough money and they are not getting it fast enough. So they are building an appetite for this federal cash. They want more and they want it now. People used to protest over human rights and freedom, also justice. Now it's handouts. I would spray paint the turtle's house as well as fancy bulldozies. I would write, stop the stimulus, no more handouts, stop printing money. You are the government, not a game show. But I won't even try to do this because I'm sure they live in prestigious neighborhoods, very well guarded. Now, guarded even more watchfully. The turtle and fancy bulldozy will say they were the targets of terrorists. 
my God, people upset because they are not being given enough money. Really? The pander man will see this, and he will know just what to do. As John Kennedy, then a senator, wrote to a young lady who was running for a place on her high school student council, find out what they want and give it to them. Thanks to these vandals, we know what they want, to the penny. The pander man will gladly and rather magnificently give it to them. Here you go, and more is on the way. Boy, Elliot said not with a bang, but with a whimper. We won't even hear a whimper. David Copperfield asked for more gruel. Maybe with a whimper. FDR said, how about a new deal? Now all we want is for everyone to shut up and give us the money. It's Cuba Gooding Jr. Show me the money! That's all we want now, fool.